It's an honor to be standing amongst the next generation entrepreneurs, uh, innovators, uh, and those hopefully going down the aerospace route, trying out our new F-18 simulator. Uh, but uh, you know, it's important that we're here today not just to talk about STEM, but to connect. And through that connection, we build the strength, we build our voice, and we build change. STEM Day in the Capitol is great for a number of reasons, uh, not the least of which is having young students in here that are that are driving robots, that are, you know, Boeing comes in and they have a, si a simulator, a flight simulator for their F-18. There's robots literally being driven around the rotunda in the Capitol. So we, we want to encourage our, a younger generation that doesn't really know what's available to them to find out what's available to them in future careers so they can begin uh, going down those paths. And so the, the point of um, encouraging science, technology, engineering, engineering, and math students and young young children to be excited in these these areas is to ensure that they they know that they're this is the workforce development we need for tomorrow. Weaving STEM into education is important because it really helps students to understand why they need to study the science and math in school and understand what great careers they can do in their life with science and technology. I think it's important because it can completely change the way your lives are going to go and just seeing all of the kids who have been impacted by this completely and thoroughly is just incredible. House Bill 1623 has two components to it. One is a computer science piece that allows students that are in high school to substitute a computer science class for a math or science or practical arts unit, which is basically an elective. Um, the second piece of the bill is a STEM curriculum that would be a, a STEM curriculum uh, awareness program that it would be implemented across the state in public schools and private schools and for homeschoolers if they choose to use it. The statistics show that students are coming out of high school not knowing what's available to them in our economy, in our, in our global economy. So we want to make sure at a much earlier age we're starting to, to build a pipeline of students that can fulfill the jobs that are available today. And the STEM curriculum does that in a very, very effective way. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here with you and to kind of connect what you're doing in the classroom with what's waiting for you out in the in the businesses of Missouri